you will be able to understand what is compound proportion. Let us recall about the terms direct and inverse proportions. If x and y are two quantities such that both of them increase or decrease together and x by y remains constant, then we say that x and y are in direct proportion. Two quantities change in a manner that if one quantity increases, the other quantity decreases in the same proportion or vice versa is called inverse proportion. Sometimes change in one quantity depends upon the change in two or more quantities in some proportion. One quantity may be in direct proportion with the other two quantities. One quantity may be in inverse proportion to other two quantities. One quantity may be in direct proportion with one of the two quantity and inversely proportion to the remaining quantity. So, we equate the ratio of the first quantity to the compound ratio of the other two quantities. Example, 36 men working for 8 hours a day can complete a piece of work in 10 days. In how many days can 24 men working for 10 hours per day can complete the same work? Solution, in the given example, Completion of certain work depends on three quantities. 1. Number of days 2. Number of workers and 3. Number of hours per day. Let us frame the table for the given information. It is clear that number of days required to complete the work is inversely proportional to number of workers. So we have 10 is to x equal to inverse ratio of 3 is to 2, that is 10 is to x equal to 2 is to 3. And again, the number of days required to complete the work is inversely proportional to number of hours per day the workers are working. So we have 10 is to x equal to inverse ratio of 4 is to 5, that is 10 is to x equal to 5 is to 4. Here we see that number of days required to complete the work in inversely proportional to two quantities that number of workers and number of hours per day. That is number of days is proportion to compound ratio of inverse ratio of number of workers and number of days. So we have 10 is to x equal to compound ratio of 2 is to 3 and 5 is to 4. Simplifying, we find that 24 men working for 10 hours can complete the work in 12 days. Here is another example. 180 men can build a wall of length 3000 meters in 24 days. How many men are required to build a wall of length 4000 meter in 36 days? Solution. Here, number of men required to complete the work is proportional to length of wall. So, we get 180 is to x equal to 3 is to 4. And number of men working to build the wall is inversely proportional to number of days they are working. So, we get 180 is to x equal to inverse ratio of 2 is to 3. That is, 180 is to x equal to 3 is to 2. Now we have number of men to be directly proportional to length and inversely proportional to number of days. So we get 180 is to x equal to compound ratio of 3 is to 4 and 3 is to 2. So we get 180 is to x equal to 3 into 3 is to 4 into 2. Solving, we get x equal to 160. Hence, 160 men are needed to build a wall of length 4000 meters in 36 days. In this module, you have learnt 
when change in one quantity depends upon the change in two or more other quantities in same proportion, then we use compound proportions to solve the problem.